Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm redoing my china cabinet for the summer and I thought I'd take you along. So I'm gonna use this placemat. Got a set of four of them at Walmart about a year ago and they were 88 cents a piece. So I just attached it with some earthquake gum on the back of it and I'm gonna use these, um, they're like server plates and they come with a tray that they sit on and they're about the size of a charger. So I thought I liked that. I like to layer the dishes in my china cabinet so that's why I'm using these because they're big. And since there's only three, I put one in the center um, on the shelf next up and these two smaller white plates. So next I'm gonna use these beautiful dishes that I got at a garage sale a couple years ago. They were somebody's grandmother's, the person that I bought them from, they were telling me the story. And I personally would not have been able to part with them, but I got them for $20. So and it was the whole set with the coffee and the tea pots that go with it. So I'm actually going to attach them to those bigger plates with some earthquake gum as well. And that's just gonna ensure that they're not gonna slip or if there's an earthquake, we do live in Washington state, so it's a possibility um, they're not gonna move. So I just attach them with a little bit of that gum on the back. And I want those, the bigger rows to face out on both sides and then in the center, I put that bigger rose up. I'm weird with placements like that. If I have a pattern on the plate, I have to make sure that there's symmetry with how they're placed. So on the smaller plates on the sides, um, I'm gonna use the salad plate. So I was going to actually add the salad plates underneath as well on that bottom shelf, but I decided against it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start placing everything else. So I actually like to have my coffee and tea pots pointed in. Um, I feel like when you're decorating a shelf or especially a china cabinet, what how things are placed on it really creates a feeling. It's it's kind of a subconscious feeling but when everything is pointed in it draws you in to it and causes you to really look at everything when they're pointed out it actually draws your attention out away from it so that's something to keep in mind so i decided to switch out that doily at the bottom with this buffalo check runner and it's actually just a piece of fabric it's not even sewn on the edges and I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree DIY that I had done. I had actually had done a different one and then made another one um, so I could just have it as a regular pot. And so all of these other things, I'm just trying to tie in theme and color. So I like to stick with two or three colors and um, just adding random things in that color wheel. So I have Obviously the black and white, I have red and a little bit of pink. So I just kind of stick with those. I did add a little bit of faux greenery and I, I add just a little bit of a splash of green here and there because green just kind of ties everything together. Green is a very neutral color to me um, because it's what you look at in nature. Green matches everything. Every color, every flower, um, it matches everything. So it's very neutral to me. So I just kind of experiment. You'll see me putting things up and then taking them down and moving them. And I like to use a lot of things to bring height to things. I, I really like the symmetry. So I wanted to bring some height to the, the teapot to match the height of the coffee pot on the other side. And I always love to stack my teacups as if they're ready to be used. So you can see the coffee and the tea are around the same height now. It just feels more comfortable to me. 
Um, no one else would probably notice those things, but I notice. so. And yeah, um, I like the symmetry. So, And I like to be able to see, especially if I have a set and everything matches. So the teacups are a little bit different pattern, but it's really not that noticeable. So I just, I at, keep adding until I feel like everything is blended and looks good together. I do like to layer things and, you know, like I said, I like to prop things up. I like to bring height to them. That gives me a better chance to layer and group things together. So that's what I just continue to do, moving things around, experimenting. Um, that cow is like a bookend. Um, I'm not even sure where I found it, like a garage sale or maybe the Goodwill. Um, I just had to have it because it was black and very country looking. So yeah, so I've got some little doilies that I'm adding here and there. And actually the pink flowers were really throwing me off. So I ended up using white ones and I got those at the Dollar Tree. And I add some silver candlesticks, a little bit of silver, always ties things, or gold if that's your color. Adding a little bit of a metal color in always ties things together. So that's what I'm doing, just trying to just experiment, I guess. I just keep playing with things until it feels right to me. And I usually try to have everything that I'm planning on using on right in front of me so I can see what I want to use and what I don't so here's a little bit more of that green and yeah I just kind of touch up and finish layering until everything feels right and looks full enough to me so here it is all done and uh, I like it I like it for now we'll see how long it lasts I, I change things so often so I might change things uh, in a couple months we'll see <laughs> So because there's just a little bit of red, um, I might be able to add a little bit of red, white, and blue in July or right before July. That way I can add a little bit of patriotism to my china cabinet, just a touch. Um, but yeah, I really like it for now. I think it looks uh, just right. So my husband actually even noticed it and he never notices these things. So what I've got on top is just some cake plates with faux fruit and a white box with greenery. And yeah, I think everything ties in well. I think it looks nice for now. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. And of course, I hope you're having a great day. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.